What's going on YouTube? It's Cheap Text Films, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And on this channel, I like to highlight my ups and downs so you can capitalize off of my wins and suffer none of my losses. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. All right, man, today I woke up sluggish. So sluggish and tired. I didn't even stay up late last night, so I don't even know what it was. Uh, I did a little workout yesterday. Maybe my body was tired from that, but I wasn't only sluggish. I was, I wasn't motivated. See, usually on Mondays, I wake up so motivated. I annoy the people around me. I'm trying to hype everybody up. Let's go. Let's get it. Bop, bop, bop. And now I'm just trying to carry that throughout the week. So I woke up this morning. I was going to stay at home. I was going to chill. Um, I decided to get up, take a shower, and, and get busy, man. So we in the studio today with a new lease on life. <laughs> we just got back from Ohio, man. The trip was amazing, but I got a chance to sit in the car with a marketing genius for eight hours to Ohio, eight hours back. So, man, we chopped it up about all kind of stuff, business. Um, we usually listen to music or, or talk the whole eight hours, but... This time the homie put on a book for me, man. The book is the book was how to sell your business or something like that, or or build the sale or something like that. I'm gonna put the screen put a, a screenshot of it up, but changed my life, man. Because the book hit at the right time, you know. And and I feel like the the homie reads books all the time. Ryan reads book all the time. He took his tattoo shop from. One tattoo shop that was barely making it on Yakin Road to he got 12 locations on military installations now. So his wife's tattoo shop paired with his marketing genius, it just took off, man. It was just the, the right match. So, of course, when he when he speaks, I'm a listen. And um, I don't know, man, during the trip, he I guess he he felt like I had to listen to this book. He'd been telling me to to listen to this book for for years but I just I don't read really like that. So we get we got the audio book, we on a trip and I'm listening to this whole book for this 8 hours and it changed my life, man, because as a entrepreneur, especially a videographer, photographer, creative period, there's a lot of there's a lot of doubt surrounding your business, man. It's a lot of competition out here. Everybody and their cousin picking up a camera, taking pictures and videos. So how do you stand out in, in the sea of, you know, ample people doing what you're doing? So that's what I be struggling with, man. I see, you know, I see other people getting gigs and I be like, damn, like, I don't be jealous. I just be like, damn, I, I ain't getting nothing coming through right now. And this book really just put everything in perspective perspective to me as a creative that does photography videography graphic design a little bit of everything i'm spread too wide this book tells you how to focus in on one thing man so my my life is chaotic i got six kids i got this job with the tattoo shop that we travel a lot and i got this business over here i got my youtube i got my instagram like Life is chaotic. So when people be like, yo, why you didn't come on birthday? Why didn't you why didn't you come here? Why didn't you come there, bro? I'm busy. I got on you know, on top of all of the business, man, these six kids at home keep me busy. So I'm busy all the time. So that I I have to find a way to function. A work life balance. I have to find a way to work and a way to to have fun, man, and enjoy life. So, you know, not to go into too much detail, the book really just just made me realize that it's I'm doing too much, man. <laughs> I'm doing too much. So that being said, I'm cutting out photography, man. It's it. I'm not doing it no more. I uh, think I'm going to go get me a black magic camera just so I'm forced not to do photography to get paid anyway. Uh, I still like doing photography for myself, but to get paid, I'm done with that, man, because... It just stands in the way. It takes me longer to edit five photos than it does to edit a whole 
YouTube video or a reel. It just takes too long. You know, especially with these women nowadays, they want every pimple removed. They want their skin smooth. They want they, they want their body contoured. They want you to liquefy and take that they stomach away. Like it takes hours to do these pictures, man. So I just ain't got the time no more, man. The money is good. I'm not gonna lie, photography money is excellent. But I'm I was a photographer first, which led into videography, and my number one love is videography now. So that's what I'm sticking to. And I'm putting my foot down and I'm not and I'm not going back and forth with it no more, man. And I'm still I'm still gonna be on my Instagram page because I have subscribers on there. If you're not subscribed to the to the Instagram, make sure you go subscribe. I'm gonna be doing tutorials and stuff over there. But I think I'm gonna focus more on YouTube. YouTube, I got a plan for for above par films. Uh just to create reels, getting more focused, like I said. So that's the plan, man. That's the plan is to YouTube, focus on the reels, cut out the photography. And that means like this backdrop, um, all of the equipment that, that I got for photography is null and void, man. It's, it's over with. I'm not buying no more photography equipment. But that also means that I can take those resources, that money, and put that into my videography equipment. You know, put that into bigger and better cameras and just focus on videography. I put a poll up asking people, yo, should I quit photography or, you know, do videography? They say, I do both. But you got to realize, man, a lot of these people, they mean well, but they work in the nine to five. You know, they a mechanic or they, they work at a bank or they not they, so it's, it's just a lot and i have to streamline what i'm doing to get the maximum effect you know what i mean i have to in, in in order to chase the the biggest bag i have to i have to focus on on one thing man so videography is what i'm focusing on man we're about to kill it i'm not even i'm not even worried about that i know we're going to kill it but uh, but yeah man sometimes you can't take everybody's advice they're not living your life but anyway, man, if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. I'm out. But y'all, y'all keep them cameras rolling, man.